Tina. And oh, it, it's sort of, you have to say, like, me playing Tina is like, you know, taking all those things in me and putting them out, all the wildness and all the, the uh, kind of rebelliousness, but yet total f fun and putting them into one person. You know, you take, you take all the stuff and, like, put it there. And, and, you know, and you've got your wild bits and you've got your, your, um, your very generous bits, but you also got this person that wants, like, attention. You know, she just, like, loves to be the center of attention and loves to, like, have people watch her. And that's why she loves to dress crazy and, like, do all this stuff and run around and, and scream and yell and stuff like that. But she's also really smart and really responsible and really caring and really generous, you know. And so uh, I would say it's a, it's a good catch for a role. As far as like being able to show so many things and do so many things with her. And uh, tell me a little bit about the scene where uh, where you uh, confront uh, the shape, Mr. Michael Myers. Tell me about how that how you. Where I can when where I confront the shape, it's um. I think at that point it's like. The most. Giving thing that she can do, and she is just suddenly becoming the hero, you know, a hero for this little girl. You know, she's suddenly like, she sees him about to kill Jamie, and it's like, bang, her instinct takes over and she just like runs in there and like says, no way, uh-uh, this isn't gonna happen. And all of a sudden she realizes that it's her life. That's the, that's the only way, that's what she has to sacrifice. You know? Uh, I think that for the thing about me is that I never realize when the, when I'm with the shape until the very end. I never even know like that anything's wrong. It's always like everything's fine, everything's fine, everything's fine, and then all of a sudden it's like bang, all this stuff happens, and like it's like one after the other, ah, and then you know, and so there's no time finally for her to think about it. There's no time for her to plan. She just has to do whatever's in her heart, and it proves that her heart is very big. Uh, tell me a little bit about your background. You went to the high school performing arts. Yes. And uh, what did you what did you study there? Oh uh, well, at the high school of performing arts, I studied um, drama. I was a drama major, and I was there for three years. And um, I also studied academics, but it was like our day was divided in half. Um, we just studied. I mean, it was really wild because you're in high school, but you're studying all the things that people would study in college. And learning about about what it's like just to work together and, yeah. and stuff like that. And uh, this is your first film. Yes. Tell me, how did you, did you prepare for this film in any way, uh, in a different way than you prepared for some of your television roles? Oh yeah. I mean, I think that I have to say that for this I, I just did a little more work on, I think on me and finding the things in me. I, I mentioned that before because it's, in television a lot of times there's a, there's a very, you have to be a certain way in television and more, you have more freedom in film. So for film I can like, I can look for the things in me and like play with them and like mold the character in a much more unusual way maybe than I would if I were preparing for a television role because there's a certain set of standards that you have to have when you're doing television or else the wide audience wouldn't understand it. And I mean, this is a horror movie, so there has to be that, all those facets to this horror movie too. But this character in particular, I think, is different than other characters in horror movies and just her, her sense of fun and values and like craziness, wildness and like rebelliousness. She's gonna go on and do something new and exciting, you know. And the last question, tell me about working with Danielle Harris. Oh, God, she's amazing. She's like a 45-year-old, 12-year-old. You know, she's she's intense. She's an, an incredible child. I, I love her, you know, and I, I couldn't have asked for a better person to work with because she gives me all the things that I need as an actress because she's so... Uh, just a very beautiful person. And so it, it, it really helps that I like her, you know, in my real life because 
I can love her in the movie more, and I can make that relationship better. We have, you know, and that's what's really good about it. And she's she's just amazing. I mean, I'm so shocked. She's like has so many. Th she's like so much more experienced than I am. You know, and here I am, 11 years older than she is, and she knows like all this stuff, and she knows all the jargon, and I'm like, she's she's great. I mean, she's she's um, to me just a, a mystery in a way. How does a person get like this? Right.